TV is here today with William Thorson. William, thank you very much for coming by. Thank you. You've enjoyed a lot of success on the European Poker Tour. I think you've made three final tables, correct? Yeah, that's correct. So what is it about the European tour, Poker Tour that you just keep going deep? Uh, I don't think it's just because of the European Poker the, the tournament, I think it's, it's a good structure, like almost the whole way. I think yeah. it's like... It's Plenty getting like play. a little bit too heavy, like from like 20 players down to the winner. They could have made it a little bit more play. A little deeper? Yeah, like the last day and uh, like, like the last one and a half day, they could make it like a little better. But overall, I think it's good and I like I like to play the tournament. So I will say the reason is I, I play the EPTs more than I play the other tournaments. Even though I don't play them all, I... So you travel to a lot of the EPT stops. Do you travel with a group of friends, or? Yeah, I have a lot of friends on the tour, and uh, so I go with with Johnny Lauden a lot, who is okay. in my team with Betson, and uh, also like just a big big group of friends from yeah from a lot of other sites, and just like the, we've been together for many years. Yeah. Well, I noticed in the European Poker Tour events, a lot of Scandinavian players seem to go deep. What do you think it is about Scandinavian players that makes them so successful? Uh, I think we have poker in our blood and we... It's like a different point of view or something. Yeah, we love the game and we we like to yeah try to get better all the time. And uh, yeah, it's, we have like a aggressive style, but... It's not, I think many players think we are more aggressive than we are. So that probably helps you then? It's got to be a it's benefit. It helps me a little because a lot of people think I'm like... You think really, you're a maniac? I'm, I, that I can be like a maniac and I... Most of, I mean, big parts of every tournament I play very solid and I try to play tight. So, uh, but I get like a lot of free shit because people think I'm really a maniac. So how would you describe your game? I mix it up a lot. If I if I feel the table is like easy or easier than I mean not hard, I, I play a lot of hands and I I play in position and I, I change my style from going like really aggressive to also sometimes in tournaments I play really tight. So I mix it up like Whatever the works. way I feel and like also like a big important factor for me is how I think the other players is thinking about me. Like, yeah. If Definitely I did like a, a if factor. I did like a great a big bluff or something that I got caught, I know like now I have to be careful for for a level or two because they're gonna they're be coming after you. Yeah, so I, I, I change a lot. I try to put my game by the the feeling and stuff. So Well you mentioned you know a lot of players on the European Poker Tour. Can you let me know any up and comers that I may not know about yet? Up and comers? Maybe some young Scandinavians. Really young ones. I, don't, I think it's like all most of the guys I hang I hang around with is like the guys that been here for a while, like Johnny. And I think he will, he will win a tournament soon, so I have to pick him. Yeah. There is a lot of other great players that I don't even really know their names and stuff, but you I respect their game. Yeah, like, you recognize yeah. them. And also there is there is a guy that is up and coming. He's young, Tron uh, Tron Derek. Yeah, it's made, he also made, yeah, he, yeah, he, he also made three final tables, and uh, <laughs> so now we have to compete who's getting the fourth one. Yeah, so now you have <laughs> but we're friends, so... Uh, you have three EPT final tables, you, you really must be hungry for that win. I'm really hungry for the win. I've been disappointed so many times because sometimes when you go out, you know you did a mistake or something, and... I'm like really, I can get really sad if I know you I did like... You obsess over a mistake, it's, yeah, it's hard. But like last time now in San Remo, I, it was like probably the first time I wasn't really disappointed when I when I busted out because I just felt the last hand. I could, what I couldn't was the last do, hand? Uh, I had been really cold for a long time and I picked up ace queen of hearts in the bottom and everybody followed to me and the blinds were pretty pretty big and I was I think second short stack with him. So I raised and in the ship leader were in the big one and he re-raised me. And I know he would do it with a lot of hands to put pressure on me. Because you were so sure. Yeah, so I decided if he if he's doing something I'm, I'm moving in because I think I have the best time. So I moved and uh, he called me with Ace King, so I was 
I was way behind, so um, it, I didn't get lucky. Yeah, so. hard to catch up there. Yeah, so I, I wasn't really disappointed there because I knew I could never get away from the hand in that situation. If it's like another situation, I might. But. Oh yeah, that makes sense. And also, I got like. Yes, so many good compliments from other players and media. That's always nice. Yeah, so yeah, that was probably one of my uh, biggest wins for table. my yeah. For me, it was one of the best wins. Well, also, I know you went very deep in the 2006 World Series of Poker. You finished the 13th. Tell me a little bit about that tournament. There's so many players. Yeah, that was a sick tournament. I was I was in the top for every in the ship count for every day, so I felt I felt very strong. Mm -hmm. I never restored my ship one time. The first time actually in the whole tournament I was all in was when I busted. Really? I never went all in with all my ships before that happened. So how do you maintain control like that? It seems in a tournament that big you'd have to be all in a few times. Yeah, I don't like to be. I don't like to. I'm like I'm, my style. I like I like to play a lot of hands, but I don't like to to build monster pots. I try to play a lot of small pots. If it's, sometimes maybe you have to no, yeah. play that, big hands, but makes I, sense. as long yourself. as I have more ships than the other guy, I never risk on my ships. So yeah, everything went went well for me in the tournament, except from the last hand when I played like a real like a real puppet. And oh. I, that's been killing me. Like sometimes I still. What, what was that hand? I raced with two jacks and Jamie Gold re raced me in the big one. And I, he was playing so many hands like all the time. So I decided. I saw. I decided before that like that I if I'm going like gonna call him down. with a weaker hand, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with him. But it was just stupid. I should have changed my mind there because. Like two jacks in that situation, it's like it's a terrible hand. I should just lay it down, and I would have been like in the middle in the in the ship counts, and so that hand has, that was killing me for a year. I couldn't sleep for almost a year. I just like keep thinking about how I could play that hand. That but you had to be proud of your win, and didn't your father also cash in the main event a couple years before you? Yeah, he was. So it runs in the family. Yeah, he was 16, 2003. 2003, when, uh, I think. Did when, he teach you to play poker? Yeah, he did. He did. Does he still travel and play? Not much. I used to bring him to the world for the for the, the main Series. event, yeah. and, but he he's working at home, so he don't he can't travel that much. You handle the poker fights for the family. Yeah. So, but I know he like he loves that tournament, and so I I'm gonna bring him for that one every year, and maybe he's gonna join a few other ones. Maybe. We don't know. But yeah, his his 16th was pretty sick because he was ship leader with 16 left, so he had. He had a, he had almost a bigger, a better chance than me. So, but he uh, yeah he played a big hand with 16 left. So he went from ship leader to out in the same position. That, that's always tough. Yeah, tough to I think he, he had a problem sleeping him too after that tournament. Great. Well, thank you very much for being here today. Enjoy chatting you. with you, William. Lizzie Harrison with William Thorson for Cardplay TV.